subscribe to learn and tech channel and press the bell icon for latest update from learn and tech hey there everyone my name is prakash mathani and welcome to learn and tech in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create a login form using bootstrap 4 bootstrap 4 is the latest version of bootstrap and we'll learn how we can create this kind of login form using that technologies so what you need to do is first of all you should have a folder structure for that i've already created a bootstrap 4 login form folder and inside that folder i have css images and js images folder has some background images and apart from that i have nothing right now so what i need to do is open my text editor and create a html create html here i'm going to create an index.html this is my HTML file and next I'm going to create is a CSS file with name global.css. Once that is done, create your HTML5 structure that is there and a title. Once that is done, you can include a meta tag here which we'll talk about later on why we need that. And now go to your getbootstrap.com site. So what I can do is I can either download my bootstrap full version from here in the download section or either I can use my CDN link for that purpose. Okay. So we have our CDN link here and we can download files from here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this CDN link from here the CSS file from here and all these three JS file from here and paste it in body section and now I need to create my structure here first of all I'll create a section with the class container fluid all right once that is done I'll create another section I'll create a class row this is our bootstrap structure and now I'll create a section with class call 12 and call sm6 and then call md3 all right and inside that and inside this section I will include my form code so how can I include my form code? I'll tell you an easy step. Just go in your getbootstrap.com. In the component section, there is your all the component here. Click on forms. And if you'll see there, this is our default form code, how it will look like. And we can edit this. Just copy from here and paste it here. Let me just structure it. This is there. All right, we'll see how it's look in our browser section. So right now this is our form, what's look like in browser and we need to create it like this. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to add some custom CSS here. So this is my global.css. First of all, what I need to do is I need to link this global.css here just type the folder name where your CSS reside and put global.css a name of our CSS file now it is linked to our HTML file so whatever code I'll include here it will reflect to our login form here all right so what I need to do first thing is in the form section I'll create a class form container all right this is my form container class and include this class here add some CSS to this particular class so first thing that I need to do is add a background color to this this is there put padding like 30 pixel top bottom right left and create a border radius of 10 pixel 
and then include some box shadow it will be 0 pixel 0 pixel 10 pixel and 0 pixel and the color would be kind of black we'll see how to look yes it is there so this is our login form it's now looking like and what i need to do is need to bring it in center and make this button larger so uh, there is a and submit button we have button block class to make it full width and it is there now and to bring this form in center line what we need to do is go in your uh, row section here the row class justify content now your content is in the center of your page and what we need to do now is in the container fluid I need to include a class called BG and use this class here include background URL root folder and we have images folder there and inside the images I'm going to use this particular images bg4 it's bg4.jpg and it will be like no repeat and then width will be 100 percent height would be 100 vh viewport height and background size will be 100 percent all right if everything goes well it will reflect here this is our login form what we have created and now what you need to do is this include let's make the position of this absolute and from the top put 15 vh there we go with our login form so it's pretty much same what we have created here and if you see it in your mobile device of screen size it will look like this but if you can see that in a background image the image is not coming full width all right so why it is not coming because we have defined the image size 100 percent and that's why it's stretching it out so we'll make it like 100 nothing it will come as an entire size but for the desktop it will not look proper so you can what you can do is include this media query like uh, for max with 678 the background size will be 300 pixel and greater than that the background size will be 200 percent so how uh, my form will look like now is this is my default form and when i stretch it down to mobile devices it will look like this perfectly fine all right so this is how you can create a login form and if you just enter something here and just submit here it will not it will throw you an error because of bootstrap default functionality and if you include at the rate which is mandatory for your email address and just do dummy one type your some password check me out your data is saved all right so this is how you can create your login form for bootstrap 4 if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep watching learning tech thank you so much